Welcome back. Primary election day is two weeks from tomorrow, and one of the most watched state house races is State Senate District 29. Yeah, the district includes Carmel, Zionsville, Claremont, as well as Pike and Wayne townships in Indianapolis. The incumbent Republican Senator Mike Delph has a primary challenger in fellow Republican Corey Meyer. Our Rafael Sanchez joins us with this matchup. Rafael. Mark and Amanda, good evening. So let's talk about the candidates. Delph and Meyer live in a district that represents some of the fastest growing neighborhoods to some of the most diverse, stretching from Carmel to the west side of Indianapolis. Girls. Corey Meyer is doing a lot of walking these days caring for her pets, and getting to know the people who live in Senate District 29. So obviously name recognition is a huge challenge. As I felt it was important for this district that we had someone that was effective and collaborative. The mother of two and small business owner kicked off her campaign 18 months ago to challenge fellow Republican I'll be back. See you. and incumbent Senator Mike Delph. Delph has served 12 years in the Senate. The captain in the U.S. Army Reserves was deployed to Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Both are now engaged in a whirlwind campaign. Meyer drew attention when she picked up Republican endorsements from the mayors of Carmel, Fishers, Zionsville, and the former Indianapolis mayor, Greg Ballard. Meyer, a professional urban planner, says education, public safety, and jobs are priorities, especially getting workers to Hamilton County. Metro Indy actually has more available jobs than there are workers right now. And with a 3.4% unemployment rate, we need to do a better job of aligning and growing our skills with the new economy. In fact, one out of two positions in the advanced industry market doesn't require a college degree. And in the year of the potholes, Meyer would like to examine if the state is doing enough on infrastructure. I'm a big believer in making decisions based on data, not a quick yes or no answer. So I think that we need to study and have more information so that we can make a decision and have a comprehensive approach. Now there are two people running in this Republican nomination, but Senator Delph declined to be interviewed for this story. When I reached out to him on April the 10th in preparation for the story, I received a quick response. Mr. Delph said, no thank you to my request. He did go on to say, I am not interested in being used by the media to prop up my opponent. There are other races much more newsworthy. Now whoever wins the Republican primary two weeks from tomorrow will face off Democrat J.D. Ford, who does not have a Democratic challenger in this primary. Mark? Uh, Rafael Sanchez, thanks Rafael.